moves out of the village of Dalton this morning, including personnel changes and a budget freeze. Yeah, Marissa Perlman is live in Dalton right now with a breakdown of last night's contentious village board meeting. Marissa, this is really nothing new, though, is it? Yeah, that's right. Good morning to you both. You know, chaotic moments have really become a striking pattern here in town, and last night was certainly no different. You don't want to hear the truth. That's all it is. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. Now, there were repeated disruptions and people being asked to leave in what has become a monthly ritual since the village was placed under federal investigation and is now facing multiple lawsuits. Neighbors once again called for Mayor Tiffany Henyard to resign. Now, the mayor laid off eight village employees, citing financial issues and limited village ca credit card spending. Trustees say this will allow only the director of administrative services to use the village's credit card for board approved spending. There will be a cap of $5,000 on any given transaction. The board also voted to place Deputy Police Chief Lewis Lacey on administrative leave, but the board didn't exactly explain why publicly. Along with the financial issues, Mayor Tiffany Henyard brought up former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's investigation. She's been hired to investigate village finances. You guys have bills on the list as it relates to political issues, and you guys know you can't use government funds for political bills. Remember, they say we ain't got no money, but they found money for a lawyer. Remember that. And we now know Lori Lightfoot will deliver a preliminary report to the public on Thursday with her findings. The board also discussed putting a village owned property on the market. It was supposed to become a Dalton police station, but the village says that they don't have the money to make it happen. We know that there was no vote on that last night. We're live in Dalton. Marissa Perlman, CBS News, Chicago. Marissa, thank you.